Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back today. Well, we're not in downtown Cater Paphos. We're actually in, well, there is confusion. Could be Clorica, could be Casonaga, but we're at the St. George Hotel traffic lights. That's the St. George Hotel. That's quite a nice little church. That's the Tbilisi restaurant, and that's the St. George traffic lights crossroads. Stick with us. We're going to go for a little drive from downtown St. George, Casonga area, who knows where it is, hotel, all the way to the Coral Bay Beach. But before we do, the girl in charge of the ship, the most beautiful girl in the world, her name is Ochin. Gracia, love you. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again. Now stick with us. We are going to go up to the St. George Crossroads. Crossroads? She's in the bloody <laughs> English. Right to the St. George Crossroads and we're going to take a left because we're coming from the St. George Hotel. Bear with me because I'm a law-abiding citizen, not, but I do like to have a seatbelt on. There we go. So, go in charge of the ship. Let's go. Here we go. St. George traffic lights coming up and we're coming up from the plage side. So from the St. George Hotel, we are going to go left, which will take us to Pea and Coral Bay. If you were to go right, it would take you to Paphos. And if you were to go straight, you would go up into Uptown Clorica. So we're actually in downtown Clorica. Next along is going to be Casonaga. Over here, you've got the Leonardo Laura Beach and Splash Resort. Over there, you've got some restaurants and cafes. Over here, you've got a 24 hour kiosk and he actually sells quite luxurious cars as well. I don't get the connection, but hey, pop in for a can of Coke or a hot latte or a cold ice latte. Buy yourself a Porsche, why not, Brasilia? You know, this area is very famous with the beaches. With the beaches, with the beaches? Beaches. With beaches. The beaches. Yeah. The sandy beaches, the most popular in Coral Bay. So I hope one day we will go and swim there. Well, Very nice. <laughs> we do try and go swim. In fact, yesterday we did go to make a video. We did make a video and it was 4.4 minutes and 28 seconds long and then the camera overheated. Yeah, we're not complaining, but these are some of the things that you just don't think about. So we were going down from the rear of the Venus Beach Hotel, great, great beach, got halfway down, just about to put our twinkle toes in the water. There was plenty of Dave Jono views, and I mean there was, wasn't there? <laughs> plenty of Dave Jono views, if you understand what I'm talking about. And then the camera went, huh? And I went, hey, the camera's gone off. We went to sit down, put a towel over us, had a look at it, and it kept saying overheating, overheating, overheating. There you go. So that video wasn't to be, but as it cools down a bit at the end of the month, don't worry we are going to get to see the rear end and the front end and every other bit and bobs of watching Receiver La Bouffe that is possible. You hope so. We wish. hope so. Well, I wish, and I'm sure some of our subscribers do. Maybe even some of the women, you never know. Right, stick with us. <laughs> now, this is downtown Casonaga, and the reason I know that is because over there, there is a hotel which has changed its name, so it's confused the life out of me, so we'll just call it the Golden Beach. Uh, it's the Antigua Group or something, and they've renamed it the Golden Beach, which I can see the sign on top of it, and it used to be called something else, but never mind. You've got a nice restaurant to the right-hand side there, always busy on a Saturday and Sunday night, and you've got Harmony Restaurant here. Again, always a very, very busy restaurant. We've eaten there a couple of times, and the food was pretty good. Cannot complain at all. But if you go down left here, you've got the Vardas Beach Restaurant. They've also got apartments to rent as well. But again, the view as you sit outside there, you see, yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. beautiful, yeah, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Now you've got Leptus building some multi-million euro villas. If you've got a couple of bob, you can buy one of them. On this side, you've got a parade of shops, and on that side, you've got a parade of shops. So if you are in the Golden Beach Hotel, you haven't got far to walk. If you want to buy a gift, a drink, I don't know, you can even get your dog groomed over there. There's all sorts of things going on in this town. Anyway, over here, this is now another set of traffic lights. You can go down the beach if you go left, and you've got a nice supermarket here, and you've got the Rafe Coffee Shop. Greatest coffee in the whole of Paphos, possibly in the whole of Cyprus. Put the shops over there, and then you've got another hotel, a sister hotel to the one we just mentioned, the Golden Beach, and this one is a new hotel. If you've not been to Cyprus for three or four years, you will not have seen that hotel. Atlantica Mari Village Paphos. And it is a village, it's pretty big. One of these days, we're gonna go and storm it. 
we did plan to storm it once in the past if you're wondering ash but unfortunately well we got stopped there was security absolutely everywhere because it hasn't been open long and they're making sure that riff laugh riff laugh riff raff like me she's a beauty but riff raff like me don't get to go in there. Does it mean riff raff? Uh, rubbish <gasps> yes yourself rubbish well, I can call myself whatever I want you can't I accept if you will if you will call yourself ravishing ravishing well I can look ravishing sometimes uh -huh. that's for sure stick with us here we are you've got the Sunny's restaurant on the right hand side there again a very nice restaurant especially at night time because if you understand it's pirouetting around a little bit so it gets a great great I'm trying to hold the camera to show you the view so it gets to see the sunset shall we say now over here, they're building some more multi-million euro videos. So if you've got a couple of bob under your bed, you can buy one of them. And then you'd have a 24-hour kiosk next to you. So it doesn't matter what time of day or night it is in your multi-million euro villa, you'll be able to pop out and get a can of Coke or a pack of Smarties. Do they do Smarties? I like Smarties. You can't buy them in Cyprus. Little chocolate buttons in different oh, colours. Okay. I do like Smarties. Anyway, I digress. There is the car parking area to a beach bar and it's called CU Beach Bar. And as you can see, well, there's around about 30 to 40 cars in there. So that means it's pretty busy indeed. Then it's out onto the Blue Blue Mediterranean Sea. Has a great view because it's about four or five feet above the beach area. And that's what you get to look out straight across the Blue Mediterranean Sea as you drink your pina colata. And I just watched the lifeguard there doing pull-ups. You look quite nice to be honest. Sylvia? Beautiful, beautiful sea colour I can observe yes, from here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's almost as beautiful as the colours in that dress when the sun hits it. It does look nice in the sun. Now, have a look at that. Fix the camera to the window. Have a look at that. That truly is a great, great view. It's blue and it's blue and it's blue. And guess what? I'm dressed head to toe in blue. I've even got a new pair of trainers on and they are in blue. So all that's missing is you. So get yourself on a big bird or on a canoe, start paddling like crazy. If you want to see the new Misochin receiver LaBeouf reincarnated into Mr. Hector, he's going to shave his legs, he's going to wear a skirt and we're going to get him a blonde wig and we're going to teach him to say Hello everybody, how nice to see you again. And again, the only difference is he won't be coming home with me at night. There we go. There we are. We are rapidly approaching another part of paradise, and that part of paradise, a lot of people will know what it is. It's called Coral Bay, one of the greatest areas in the Paphos district if you want to go on a beach or you just want to lounge around and not to do a lot. Coral Bay is famous for the great, great sandy beach called Coral Bay. And believe it or not, it even has another beach which is even better. And that beach is called Corala Bay Beach. And it's got a hotel right on it called Corala Bay. So if you're looking for a great hotel in downtown Coral Bay, you've got, it's a bit of a budget hotel, but I don't like that word. It's still a nice hotel. That's the Corala Bay Hotel. And then you've got the Coral Beach Hotel, you've got the Coral Bay Beach Hotel, and you've got one or two others. And you've got a bunch of villas and apartments that you can rent as well. This time of year, it's packed. Anyway, we've come to Coral Bay because we're going to make a special, special video for someone who's very, very special. Her name is Denise. Denise, if you're watching, come back in the next one. And guess what? We're going to be driving around the, I don't want to say back streets, but the streets to the rear of the Coral Bay Strip, having a look at the villas and apartments and showing you possibly where you might want to stay. We're in Coral Bay, here we are. If you take a right, you go up into Paya Village. If you go straight, you go to St. George. And if you go left like us, well, there we are. We're in Coral Bay. Let's drive the strip. I'll name one or two of the restaurants, starting with the Renegade Sports Bar, you've got the Rio Grande. I can't even say that one, but it's the Slalafi. Very, very nice restaurant indeed. You've got Zeta Sports Bar. You've got the Eye Cave. You've got a tattoo shop. 
you've got a hair salon, you've got the Coral Bay Clinic, you've got the Santa Maria restaurant, you've got a gift shop, you've got a pharmacy. There's all sorts going on. You've got a gira shop, you've got another pharmacy, you've got a tour shop, you've got another restaurant, you've got chalkies, you've got dirty martinis, you've got the Kikos bar. It's endless. You've got another souvenir shop. As you get the idea, you've got braiders. You, this girl here, that girl will braid the life out of you. And there's another girl down there who's her partner in crime and she will braid the life out of you. Mm. We went into that race restaurant with Oh So So Sweet Caroline and Big Guns. We went into there, Cleo's, with a customer the other day. We, there's the Chick Chop Chick Chicken, oh, 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 chicken Bar, who's in English? <laughs> the Dionysus restaurant. You've got a Chinese Japanese restaurant. You've got the Blazing Salads. Mm. You've got the Dolce Vita. And you've got a Chinese, Indian, very confused what they are. They're Thai, Indian and Chinese, there we go. And then you've got the absolute 168 club to party the night away. Afterwards in the morning, come out of the club, pop into the second club. Great coffee shop, I like that coffee. We've got another branch in town. Now, we're dropping down to the area that a lot of people like to go to, and that area is the Coral Bay Beach. So this girl, the girl in charge of the ship, is gonna navigate us across the car park down the track and get us somewhere to park. Oh. Yeah, and then we're going to dismount. Here we are, in, 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 proceeding the move. Her navigation is absolutely awful. There we are. This is the Coral Bay Beach. Well, what should we call it? Well, we'll call it a car park. There we are. It's a bit of dirt. Keep going, Brasilia. Keep going that way. You can't get down that way. Well, you can. Yes, you can. Right, get down that way. Don't worry about the tourists. There's plenty of them, there's plenty of them. We get about four million tourists a year, we won't miss two or three of them. Keep going. Let's get all the way down here and show you the beauty, look at that. Wow, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One of the greatest beaches in the world. Definitely in the whole Cyprus, that's for sure. Look at that, wow. And it's busy. Oh, it's busy, 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 busy. I've seen a parking space. If you turn left, Chrissy, yeah? okay. go left. And then left again immediately. Full lock, full lock, full lock. Here, 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 here. See that? Can you see it? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, this all is just parking in the middle. Problem. This all is one car here. Yes, well. Go over there, go over there, go down there. Go, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Park there, park there. We won't be long. Park there. That's uh -huh. that'll do. Try not to ram the bin, but park there. That will do. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Let's go for a dismount. Come on, come with us. Let's go and have a look beautiful Coral Bay Beach and you're going to be, well, it's going to take your breath away. It's a great, great place indeed. Stick with us. Here we go. Let's have a twirl from Gracevi La Bouffe. Let's just see the front end, the rear end and every bit of end that we can see. Oof, bit of leg as well. And she's dancing. Come on, Gracevi La Bouffe. Let's get down here and show the people the beauty and the greatness, because it is great. It's absolutely great. This is an absolutely fantastic beach. There could be a couple of Dave John overviews coming up. Let's have a look. Look at that. Wow, what a fantastic beach. Get yourself down to Queso, Coral Bay, and you're going to have a great, 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 great holiday in the city of Booth. You know, our dearest people, I would happily say that I totally, totally enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed our trip too. The shop trip, but so full of uh, information from our dearest Mr. Paul. I would like you to come to see another of our madnesses and I would like you to spend a little bit of more time and please don't forget to click and subscribe because you know what? We're loving you to be and many from me and Mr. All that's left me to say is thanks for watching and if you like what you see, I got a glimpse of the black underwear. That was very nice indeed. You were unlucky. You never know. Next time, you might be in luck. Let's have a quick further view of the beautiful downtown Cato Coral Bay Plage. And this is what you're missing. Have a look at that.